Hi and welcome to the Browns of Neath software tutorial. Now here's the home screen. As you can see you have the login function. Uh, all of the buttons at the top will be disabled until you log in. If you do not have login details, please click the register button below. On the register page, enter your full name, the desired username, the desired password, and your email address. My username has already been used, so if I put Matt1, there you go. Successfully registered, please click Home and log in. Clicking on the Home button, you now log in. Okay, now you've got your home screen here. Uh, you are clearly logged in, as it states at the top. Uh, click on the Add Jobs and Customers. Uh, this is a page where you would add a new customer and in turn uh, create jobs. Uh, if the customer is already registered, and say yes, we will choose Williams, James Williams. Now if we select this customer, you can see at the rear of the screen the customer details now have been added to the jobs list below. So we'll create this job now. So I can repair washing machine. Remarks. You can fill anything in there. Now over here you have your manufacturers, Dyson, washing machine, vacuum cleaners, serial number if you need be. Uh, the date has to be month, day, year. So we'll uh, Fourth, third, twenty thirteen. You can put the time in if you if you wish. Uh, zero nine thirty. Create job. Job successfully created. So if we go to the fetch jobs list now, it will be. You can push it by date, uh, type of repair, etc. So let's find ours. We just created. 0930, there we are. So, yes, anyway, continue on. Your customers, this is where you'd search for a customer if you need to up do, uh, update the details. Simply type in the surname. Here we have the details. We can edit our details. Type anything you like. Update the email address. Click update. As you can see, the field has been updated. Um, with this screen, if you click on the selected customer, it'll send all the details into this box here. This serves the purpose of contacting a customer directly through sending an email. With the click of the button, wait for it to connect to the internet, an email will be sent. Um, you can either use the mobile number, which displays to contact the customer directly. Uh, all registered customers are at the bottom of the page, and this is also paged. There's a lot of test data in here. Uh, your stock checking page it works on part searches uh, and full searches. So if I just type in DEL, click submit. So you can see it comes up with anything with the word BEL in it. Uh, we can refine the search by typing drive belt, submit, and it would only come up with the drive belts. Now, if you need to order any stock, you simply select what stock you'd like to order, put in the desired amount you wish to order, 10, and then click add to order. Order out of the database, continue ordering orders, or go to the stock page to complete your order. Uh, if we go to the stock ordering page, you can see this is what we've just um, 
under the order uh, if this has arrived uh, you can select this say how much has arrived 10 confirm that order completed and stored match orders the latest order by the today's date um, the price the amount we ordered manufacturer email as you can see it doesn't come up on every screen it does come up at the rear um, to clear these uh, receipt lists simply edit click the has arrived update that fetch orders and it simply disappears uh, also with this screen if you need to print out the order form receipt simply click print it opens up a lovely window with your receipt that you can simply print or cancel this concludes the tutorial for Browns of Neath if there's any problems you will find me in the customers section under Copley uh, I am the top one just simply copy my email address and email me at any time thank you for watching